Hi everyone, myself Dr. Ganesh Krishna from Drona Institute of Ayurvedic Studies. In this video, let us see how we can easily memorize the differences between direct and indirect inguinal hernia. So, who are more prone to direct hernia, who are more prone to indirect inguinal hernia? Where there is any differences in the pathway of these two, where there is any differences in the external appearance of these two, where there is any differences uh, in the result when we perform different tests. Hmm? Let us see. First one, who are more prone to indirect inguinal hernia? Indirect inguinal hernia is usually congenital and is seen in young children and young adults. Okay. Whereas direct inguinal hernia is seen in people usually above 40 years as a part of complication of carrying heavy load etc. So the pathway indirect inguinal hernia moves into the scrotum and it moves through the inguinal canal whereas it does not move into the scrotum and it does not move through the inguinal canal in direct hernia in physical appearances indirect inguinal hernia is elliptically spherical in nature whereas direct inguinal hernia is circular in shape so when we see look from an outside indirect inguinal hernia is not easily noticeable as it is behind the external muscular fibers whereas it is noticeable in the case of direct inguinal hernia then coming to the test first one is a finger invagination test so when we perform finger invagination test in indirect inguinal hernia the impulse is found at the tip of the finger whereas in direct hernia it is found at the pulp of the finger the next one is that deep ring occlusion test in deep ring occlusion test in indirect inguinal hernia swelling is absent whereas in direct inguinal hernia swelling is present now we have to easily remember these points let us move on to that let us take the code word as in in from the indirect inguinal hernia and we will relate most of the point with this in so this in means into something or inside something right uh, let us take the pathway initially so the pathway means in to the scrotum and through the inguinal canal that is it is moving inside something so in represent inside something so in indirect inguinal hernia it moves into the scrotum and in through the inguinal canal next oh, which one is congenital indirect inguinal hernia is congenital now how we can relate this point congenital also means inborn right inborn disease uh, also is known as congenital so in that we have an in as common inborn and inguinal indirect inguinal hernia so we can connect those points then elliptical in nature right indirect inguinal hernia is elliptical in nature which is ellipt ellipse we know a solar eclipse uh, like eclipse uh, like that which is seen then eclipse is seen in the sky in the sky right in in so we can correlate that point elliptical means in in the sky next we can move on to the uh, test so the finger invagination test uh, where is the impulse found in the tip right what is a tip tip is usually we in restaurants we give to the um, uh, waiters etc so tip what does a tip mean to the waiter it is an indirect source of income right direct source of income uh, the owner of the restaurant may provide him but a tip is an indirect income which we the customers provide to them so indirect from that we can relate uh, tip of the finger is related with indirect inguinal hernia as we already mentioned that the swelling is far behind the uh, far behind the external muscle fibers uh, it is not easily noticeable that point can be taken into deep ring occlusion test so swelling is absent thank you